St. Bernard's Medical Center hosted its fifth graduation for Project Surge last night at the hospital. Northeast Arkansas News' Sarah Doan was there and introduces us to some of the new graduates. Well, that's right. Project Surge helps train and prepare adults with intellectual disabilities to secure competitive jobs in the community. The program is through a partnership with Access, Arkansas Rehabilitation Services, and St. Bernard's Medical Center. Mary Housewright works alongside the 10 interns at St. Bernard's, the program's host site. She says it's a gift to watch the graduates grow and reach their full potential. It's been amazing, nine months that we spend with these young adults uh, to help them learn and grow so that they'll succeed. They'll succeed in employment and they'll su succeed in life. It's awesome. Over the past nine months, the interns completed three 10-week rotations in various hospital departments. Additionally, they served at businesses around town while learning skills training. Logan Bessie is one of those graduates. I'm very excited. I'm very proud with all the other graduates that I've worked with, they, the futures they have ahead of them is beyond incredible for them. Bessie, who works at Walgreens, joins 49 other interns who have graduated from Project Search at the hospital since 2017. Amy Finley serves as the Director of Education and Organizational Development at St. Bernard's. She says the impact the program has on the interns is big, but the impact interns have on staff well, that's even larger. They always have a positive attitude and are just a great influence to us on and our employees every day. And it's amazing to see that. We're so proud to have them here as part of our program. This class reached 100% employment as the grads are going to work at St. Bernard's, the city of Jonesboro, and Buff City Salt. <laughs> just to name a few. One graduate says the program took her out of her comfort zone. And she helped me to build confidence in myself. I learned that there is no limit to what I can do, and that if something is difficult, I can still find a solution in my own way. The graduation featured speakers and a surprise performance from Corey Jackson. KJMB was there when he visited the group in March. Y'all come on inside. Since its creation in the natural state nine years ago, the program has grown to seven sites across Arkansas. Because the young adults were able to get employment and be successful, and as of tonight, we have graduated over 400 young adults from our seven programs. Now Project Search here in Jonesboro will welcome their sixth class of interns this fall. Sarah Doan, Northeast Arkansas News, Jonesboro.